Okay, so today is going to be the second half of the Vulcan testing. So previously what I have here is software testing. I'm testing uh, the Vulcan implementation, Photographics VK, under LLVM pipe, which is under several architectures, but it is in, in containers, but still, and se se uh, se several architectures. But it's still software. It's testing you know, the software against the software implementation. I want to check against some real hardware. So that was the focus last time. Today, last time was software. This time is hardware. So to begin with, I have Vulcan testing, the Vulcan testing template. That's all right. So I need some new items. I need to basically make copies of these and put them under hardware. So. That was software, we've got hardware testing, hardware testing, and hardware testing. We only have one architecture of each. Like, I, I've checked offline. I cannot run ARM64 PowerPC software um, user space and have it run, like, you, under with the underlying, no, no, no. It, it just doesn't work. So... I'm going to have to be, be running around with this. The This is Clang, Clang++, plus plus. that's great, great. And then I need tags. So if I double check with the, what I have, so let me just kind of sneak that all off here, bring this in, really increase the size. Okay, just, can I, yeah. So I'm here and I have LSPCI. Double, double checking, I have two graphics devices on this. I have the 6600 XT, which is a discrete GPU, and this other VGA is Cezanne, which is the 5600G. This is the Vega integrated GPU. And what I want to do, so. Um, tags, I need tags i need to okay so i have that i want to test on let's say architecture gpu this is what i'm going to do i'm going to say hey i want to run test on vega 8 or let me just okay uh what is amd says on what kind of uh Cezanne cores AMD chip wiki. So what, what we got in here? We got that's not helping me. Or is this just like literally the CPU? You're not going to uh, okay. Here we go. I guess processor run what? What's it called? Vega eight seven or six? Um. There we are. I've got a Vega 7. So I'm going to say it's a Vega 7. Like that. And a Navi, what is it, 23? Navi 23. Navi 23. I'm going to take that. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. And put that there. So it's going to be container, Linux, that on architecture only this kind of matrix of things. So I need, oh, I also need to put that as a tag. So that, and what we got, GPU. GPU and GPU. All right, so what I need to, need to do is I need to, when I'm starting the GitLab, via, when I run a GitLab job, what it does is it's going to have, right now it starts in a, a, a container through a custom uh, script. And I'm going to have to modify that or update that to also be able to do not only the architecture as before, because that was had to be custom, because the default GitLab runner only runs on the same architecture, and that's painful. Not That's not good enough. I am a power user. I am power. I'm, I'm crazy with power. I cannot accept just doing a single architecture on a single system i need to do all the things everywhere so let me find the script i believe it's here bam yes this no this okay so what i have here 
uh, is this is the script set of scripts I got. So I got this uh, from an older thing, and I modified it with modifications to do architecture as well. So that would call. So the first thing that will happen with that custom. So I got rid of this because I'm not. I'm using the default. I already have Podman logged in on the machines I run because of the customness. But what would be passed into this? So if I go, actually, let me find. Okay. When I have a custom thing, so let's do that without the custom. Uh, let's do that. This is what I have for a Podman runner. So I got the usual stuff. No cache, builder, builder, cache, or whatever. And I have a custom thing. So what happened as part of a, using a custom GitLab runner, you have to have like, you know, scripts for the configuration, the pre prepare job, the prepare step, the running step, and the cleanup. What I would do is when I set up the container uh, under prepare, I would also pass in like the architecture of the container, such as risk 64, and then I'd have a custom runner, one runner for PowerPC, one runner for risk five, one runner for ARM 64, and then several for the native architecture to speed that one up. So here, I would pass to the prepare script, architecture, whatever. Yeah, don't save it. Um, and that would be caught up here. I would take arch, if it has one, I would then pass container arch to when podman runs. And then this will put a very long sleep thing. And then like each run command would be like a, an exit call, right? Like this. Yeah. Each step of the script individually. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a modification to pass in for the moment. I'm not entirely sure on how to select between a Navi 23 and a Vega 7. Especially since like there's nothing saying that this is a Vega 7 and there's nothing Navi 23 isn't it's got a space here. Plus, like I don't know how to how to translate between like this you know th these pci spots and you know the device when it's listed in you know ls uh, uh dry because at this point it becomes render 128 and 129 which doesn't really have anything to do wait can i do Can I like at dev dry card zero? Is there anything? <sighs> cat dev dry card zero. Udo. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. So I don't really know if I can do that dynamically yet. So I'm not even going to try to try to do it. So I'm just going to go back into CI and assume that I can hard code these things. So for one thing, I'm okay. I'm going to make a, I'm going to add them uh, an option here. So container arch, say arch. Oh yeah, by default the architecture starts as that. And I need that there. Okay, but I don't need it. So I, I only need it if I'm gonna set it here. So let's say dash dash. GPU I'll I'll say it specifically GPU rather than device at the moment. So I'm just gonna say like container GPU equals dash dash device. Because this is one passing to Podman, so I need like dev dry here. So I need uh, number two of this. 
So about that, we shift, we shift again, get past the two arguments. We do that. Great. And then what I want to do So if that exists, pass that through. And if it exists here, pass that through. That should be all the things I would need, right? I Because I don't have much else other than... Okay, the readme... I don't really have anything else here. So that should be enough. So let me get this onto the, let me uh, rsync this to the server real quick and, and BRB. Okay, so I got that there. Kind of move that down, move this in. So if I check scripts and I less into CI Podman rot prepare, apologies. I have GPU, I have the stuff kind of being given down there. That's great. Okay. So at this point, I need to register new ones. So let's go down to the readme. This is everything. So binder is, okay. I need the register. Get the registration token and stuff. So, okay. Let me set up the registration and token and CI server and uh, environment variables real quick so I can get this done speedily. Okay, so at this point I have the registration CI and the binder. Don't try to use registration token because I will be clearing it after this. Uh, okay, so let's use... What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, which I'm pretty sure I can do most of this. Give it a four, host name, s, podman, container, linux, non interactive, name podman, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's just get this going and see what I get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, I needed to actually be in here. Are there any, okay. So uh, let's go into the runner config, Tomo. All right, so. Uh, to do this, what would I be doing? This is a native architecture thing only. So this is... I need to make some modifications to this. Dot git lab. Lab runner config total. First of all, there's only a limit of one for now. Secondly, I'm going to be renaming this to, what do I say? What do I say? I usually say something along the lines of Linux container runner. Linux. Runner. MD64 and Vega 7. Let's just kind of do that way. There'll be a limit of one, that's a token, blah, 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 blah. And all the way down here, we're going to have the pair arguments. The pair cards equals what? Two. GPU. And what is it called? Render. Uh, oh, one second. Uh, um, LS dev dry. Under the, so it's, sorry, dev dry, render the one, two, eight. Let's just say that, let's assume that that's the card. I'm not sure if it is. We'll figure it out in a second. That's the thing we're passing through. So, 
if I go to the instance of GitLab, I should have a new... Okay, it was started but never contacted. Okay, that's not great. Let me double check that. Okay, I just didn't have GitLab runner started and running. So let me get Linux container runner, MD64 Vegas 7. Okay. So that runner is running, right? It's contacted just now. That's great. It is running. So kind of save that. I already believe I made a modification so that the only jobs running here are the, the, the formatting and the Vulkan testing. So that should mean that this runs a lot faster. So that's for one, let's not do ve capital Vega 7, nor Navi, so it's just lowercase. Let's make lives easier. Same thing. We'll just get rid of the Navi 23 for the moment. I just want to make sure that this is going to run on Vega 7 on that. So we'll just minimize the number of tests actually if that's the case we also want to kind of basically just do one just arch hardware that and that and i only have the one yes for now let's add let's push that up and see what exactly is about to happen if it works at all Uh, is it not pushing? Nope, okay. Let's see how that goes. Okay, well, that didn't quite work as expected. Uh, I got two jobs, one that has Vega 7, the other one that has AMD64. The other one has, like, a blank Arch or the blank GPU, which is not really what I was hoping for here. They're different matrix matrices that's not what i was looking for hmm okay what about okay so i, I get lab lab matrix power uh, level Parallel. That's not what I was looking for. Parallel matrix defined as this. Tags at that. I want about two. Okay. Oh, they're together. Oh, they're supposed to be together. Like that. Like a, like a, like a whole set okay okay uh let's put that up try that one out okay that appears to be better yeah whoa okay yeah much better let's see how this goes all right uh let's have a look at what we're going on what's going on in here So, oh, that actually happened so fast. I was going to check. I was I was going to check HTOP to see if um, like what was running, but it actually the job's already completed, and it looks like it just didn't do anything at all. Like it didn't actually say what it ran. Whoops. Hmm. Hmm. 790. Okay, let's compare it to, let's say, that thing down here. Like, how many did it run for this? 719 in software. So it did actually run. It's just not telling me on what it ran. So I probably removed the thing that used to tell me out of here. 
which is a big mistake. So mm -hmm. test format, blah, 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 blah. Create test session. I used to have something in here. Can I get it back? I have to do it myself. So hold on a second. Let's, uh... So we got that. I'm yeah, I'm getting the physical device here, and then I'm going to put it out to after I create the session. Then I'm going to put it out. Um, Device properties again, props, DK, physical device, properties out of whatever the physical device we are choosing. And props, standard CF, props, device name. Put that in. Temp uh, device name. Put that out. Because I need to. I need to make sure that whatever that this is running on the specific on the this device that I desire. Actually, that probably means it's on the wrong device as it is, because it's supposed to be a second device, isn't it? Well, I'll find out in a second. So, pipelines, latest. Let's go again. All right, we're testing. Hmm, this, oh, wait, hold on. Why isn't it running? Is it because, is it running the AMD 64? Okay, yeah, so I've got a bit of a problem. The heart, the, the, the tag because the tag set here is smaller. Uh, this is like AMD Linux container, and this also just so happens to share the exact same as the hardware. The hardware just has an extra one, which is Vega Seven. Um, I'm running software tests on the hardware. Not great. Oh, and plus it's it was running on on the wrong one, right? It was running on the. Um, 6600 instead of hmm. so okay that so that's that's two things i can do first of all go here we're going here we're going to go vim into that we're going to change this to be 129 then we're going to do this we're going to go all the way back here and it's not going to be the name is going to be GPU container runner AMD sixty four Navi twenty three. We got a limit. We got blah 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 blah. blah. Something else here. Okay. Nope. Tag list. Podman container Linux. Navi twenty three and AMD sixty four. I need to put an extra double quote around the name here. We got that. Okay. That. I need to update this with a new pair for the actual one. Pair args. Oh, and there's only one limit, limit of one. We're only running it once. Okay, we got that. 
So I can at least do this. I got that and that'd be 23. Let's make sure I can do both of those. Let's just kind of hmm. What can I do about the tags? Do arch. I could just get rid of Arch, the architecture. Just say it's native. Native on that GPU. Mm, but no. I will want to make sure that it's a, I'm running a, this GPU on a specific architecture. I know like you can run these things on, at least, well, no, obviously not the integrated GPU, but the discrete GPU on other architectures. And that's definitely something I want to do. Like I have ideas to get like an, an Ampere Ultra server with like a very small with a basic chip and put gpus in there and test that but okay is there a way i can okay, just get this going first um push that in and actually let me just check that this was running on the right gpu in the first place no it wasn't Oh, that was software, hardware. Vega 7? Not Vega 7. Cool. This time. This time, hopefully. Hmm, okay. Theory, what if I do this? Whoops. What if I do like a combined thing, like Arch GPU, like that? AMD 64, you know, whatever. Does this work? Can I separate hardware from software by doing like combination things like that? Because that would actually make sense to my mind. So let me check. Does this job, is this, is this working? First of all, hardware, Vega 7, right? Yes, even though it's called Renoir instead. This one would be Navi 23. Right. Come on. Navi 23. Perfect. Okay. So let's try a combination thing where, first of all, before I actually push that, then. No, this isn't going to work because uh, the tags are on the server. So let me get that done real quick. AMD 64 dash Vega 7 on that one. That. Runner. So that's the Vega one. And get the. Oops. Don't resume that. Navi 23 one. Navi 23. AMD 64 dash. That. Right. Okay, and then push that. Combo. Okay, let's go back to here, check pipelines. We're going to go with the combo runner, please. So that's just going to be running on whatever. I guess I can only do like... Uh, I can do more than one concurrent. I can basically do, let's say, up to four concurrent, but only a limit of one for the Vega 64 and one for the Navi 23. So one per GPU, basically. So that's what I want to do. Let's do that. So Red, Ren, Renoir, Red V, and then we'll get to the other one. So this one should start right away. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Perfection. So, uh, okay. 
I got the runners, they're segmented correctly. Now I need to, the last thing I really need to do is kind of figure out a way to verify that I'm running on the specific GPU I think that I'm running on. Because again, like, I don't know. I mean, LS PCI is probably not going to change because like where it is in the system, like what, what PCI uh, lanes, addresses, that's not going to change. But I don't know if that always, is always going to translate to wherever LS, you know, dev, dry, where, where you know, it's always going to be in the same order here. What's my path? Sorry, LS. Uh, get rid of the stuff in the back. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. go. Dev and dry. Okay. A question for the internet. Where is my browser? Look at that. Linux figure out in <laughs> dry. Okay, this is the thing about Raspberry. I load ordering is not guaranteed. Perfect, just what I wanted to hear. At least on Raspberry Pi. So if it's a one if it's a if it's a problem in one place, it will be a problem elsewhere. Um Not helpful, not helpful. Okay, hello. By okay, hold on. What what's this? LS dash L dev by by path. Oh, hello. There's the PCI Express thing. That I like. Okay. So I can actually figure that. Okay. If I can figure out how to do this. Okay. So if I do that, EPA, like that. Okay. Navi 23 and Cezanne. Okay. That's not. Why it's so good? Well, okay. It may be matching because of PCI Express, but I don't know if that's a guarantee. I really do not. I want to be safe for... Hmm. So, okay, if I can figure this out, if I can, I'll, I'll probably need like an intermediate script. Where I say like, I'm expecting it to be, okay, when I do a matrix thing in GitLab, oh. GitLab matrix parallel, when I do this, Parallels. Can I get like a matrix? This may be in here, okay. Runners. Tags, no, 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 very useful. Runner tag for each matrix parallel job. Can I like provide more than one thing? Because I want to be able to do have like a let, you know, 
do like a tag colon something, like a tag colon, like a name. So I could do like Vega 7 Cezanne or something like that. Um, hmm. Wait, what am I doing? No, no, no. I don't need this then. Uh, because then I okay. When I have here, uh, this, I already know, like, when I'm running the Vega 7, I'm expecting to be running Cezanne, VGA Cezanne, something like that. And then this will be Navi 23. I, I, I know the keyword that I'm looking for in LSPCI. So I can look I can look for that. And then I can convert that into so I need a script. I need a I need a little subscript. Not that. I need to go to this for the moment. And I'll need like uh, I got script, so I need to like find GPU by ID, GPU by tag, by name. Something like this. LSPCI grep by VGA. I can do this. And okay, so legit. And then be like just a zero. Okay, so I need to cut based on one of this. So uh, cut. Dash D. I just need the first thing, which is just the PCI Express stuff. Cut dash D space first. So it'll be like LSPCI grep VGA grep the keyword, whatever that is. So right now, this one's Navi 41. Just for the moment, like I will get away, I will be far more specific so I can actually detect specific cards if I have more than one in the GPU in the same system. But for now, I need something that works. Uh, out the gate. So that, let's say we get something like that. So the PCI address is this. And then I want to do something along the lines of plus GPU by name. Okay, that's that. Uh, it was what? LS dev dry by, what was it? By path. Card and render, but I'm looking for render. So this is exactly what, so this is the thing I'm looking for. That's dash L. So then I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And okay, so I need to do that. <sighs> Grip, PCI address. And I need to grip by um, render, dash render. That did not work. Okay. 
grip by minus render. Is that the problem here? That's the problem. Okay. Grip render. Grip PCI address that I'm looking for. So I need to cut like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um. Device under path equals this whole mortgage borg. So that, so get, that gets me that. So that, so then this it becomes dev dry uh, by path at. So can I get like an absolute of path? Absolute path. Of that, Linux absolute path. So I can, or no, I need to get file name. Get what's it? What's the thing? Get a file name from string bash, base name. I get the base name of echo base name of render path. That gives me that. So I can do that. That gets me the whole everything. That's just perfect. Put put this uh, inside of that. This would be quite a big thing. Um, hmm. GPU ID equals one, the first variable, do that. Grab that. Okay, let's kind of copy that and put that into here. So I'm gonna do quick, get that. I just, yeah, get that. Uh, Podman executor scripts vim actually no Did get that ch mod so gpu by name stays on is the second one and then we get navi whoop navi 23 base 28 perfect okay so it's already executable so let me uh get this r synced over okay so that means um, local one go to podman pod all right, GitLab, on the next cuter scripts. It's here now, okay. 
vim, we get lab runner, config, we go down, we're gonna go be instead of, we're not doing this. We're instead doing I'm really hoping I can do this, like all together like that. And that it'll it'll work. <sighs> um C I lab. Tricks. Keep you by name. Dot shell. Ooh. Um. Yeah, that's sweet. Single quotes will work. This was Vegas set, so let's just say it's on. Okay. Let me rerun Cezanne or Vega. Okay. Come on. No, did I not write rerun it? Come on. There we go. Uh right, here we go. Give me dang it! It didn't work. Hmm. I need this to be dynamic. I really do. Okay, what if I say this is Saison? That's Saison. Okay. Then I go vim pi oh man Okay, hold on. What is going on? Sorry, C D Container GPU. So instead, this becomes. Uh, so I put it. I put it here. What if? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, it'd be local to wherever this is running, right? Or cur yes, current is described down here. So I need to move this up to like here. Then I'd have to do current dir device. Current dir keep you by name of sh. Whatever that is. I don't know why that decided to jump. Oh, because this is owned by someone else, isn't it? Okay, let me do that on the other side then and push it up. Okay, that's less the I what man prepare. Okay. Let's give that one another go. So let's uh retry that. Let's see how that's going to go. Okay, and it's working, seemingly. Okay, so that is great. So then I need to go back here, Vim, GitLab, Runner, it's also the Cezanne, it's not this specifically, it's Navi 23. Double check that it's going to work on.
That'd be 23, because that has a space. I don't know how well that's going to work. Seemingly, it's going to work. Okay, so now if hardware decides to maneuver around on a, on a system, I'm a lot closer to having it fully dynamic. At least I'm selecting the, the, the device path dynamically. I, okay, so that's a lot better. It's no longer entirely static. So next bit would be to make sure what? Yes, I need to make sure that the device I'm actually running on is this. Can I? Hmm. You know what? Actually, I think this will be good enough. Because if I don't... Oh no, if I get a bad device, then I'm going to be running on LLVM pipe, which is going to be very not right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Plus, I'm also eventually going to have to have the ability to pass more than one GPU in at the same time, because when I'm doing like device selection tests. Um, hmm. Okay, you know what? That's I, I'm trying to overcomplicate things. I've got like some truly magical stuff happening in here where I have container passed GPUs dynamically, somewhat dyna dynamically selected. I think I'll actually call it there. It's great. It works as expected. I'll just kind of reinstitute. I'll re add all the other jobs and the other uh, distributions. And then I guess I'll call it there. I have GPU, I have hard, Vulkan hardware testing. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure that's a lot better than a lot of actual real companies do. Real professionals. Probably. Maybe. I hope. Well, they probably wouldn't be running on Linux anyway. So they'd always be running on Windows. So, yeah. Okay, well, until... So next time, after this, I'll probably... I'll switch back to Render Graph, most probably, to finish that off with this in play and then move on from there. So yeah, until next time, cheers.